Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. Listen, today we're going to react to Tuko's video with Rose Williams and listen, I just saw the title and I was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. And so I am so curious to know what this is all about because this is crazy. I mean, if this really happened to Rose Williams, it's terrible. So listen, make sure you subscribe, make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell all of them, all of them, okay? And let's uh, react to this um, video already. So it's a throwback, you know, it's a throwback video because I guess it was like four months ago, but you know what? It's never too late, right? So let's get straight into this video. When I texted her that, told her to leave my man alone. She texted me back and told me, insecurities galol, kojoa ulale. Huh? Yes. Oh, okay. This is not funny. But what? Right. Yes. Kojoa ulale. Kojoa ulale. Mm. I'm telling you, that is terrible. I think... It's horrible for someone to undergo that. It's terrible. Hello, welcome to Tuko Talks. My name is Lynn Gogi. Now, my guest today says she never thought her husband of seven years would one day show up in their house with another woman and introduce her as mm -hmm. the co-wife. She says that's not what hurts her most. What hurts her is the fact that she always knew she was enough. And so, mm -hmm. without further ado, please allow me to let her introduce herself. Mommy, how are you? Fine, thank you, Lynn. Karibu. <laughs> yeah, they're matching. They're matching. I love it. I love the dress. Um, well, it's not a dress. It's it's a skirt and you know and the pants and they look so nice. So just to let you know that I I actually got to know about Rose Williams when I watched her with um Mokazi's family. They were doing a video together and yeah, she's so charming. You know, she's so beautiful. Uh, the dimples, the hair. She looks really nice. And I hope that she came out stronger from this journey uh, because it must have been very tough for her. Yeah, please introduce yourself. Hello, guys. Uh, my name is Rose Williams or Rosemary Wanyiri. I'm a mother of two and uh, I'm a YouTuber and I'm a, I do branding. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, that is me. And you look lovely. She's a businesswoman. You know, she's a businesswoman. And I like that. I like that. Thank Did you, you come out? We always do this. Unajua, sometimes people think I tell my guests yeah. too much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it was just a coincidence. Yeah. I looked at you and I was like, wow. We are coordinating yes, color right, coordination. Yes, yes. Yeah, and I know, of course, my. Yes, Lynn, the hair is on point. The, the feet is on point. You know, she looks so nice, you know. People will ask where are the red chairs. Zimeosho Azijakauka. I'll have them on our next show. So, Rosa, I know your story is quite interesting. First, because you say you can't stand a co wife, mm. but then your husband, mm. your former husband, mm. sorry, says he saw nothing wrong mm. with giving you a co wife. Mm. Yes. Take us. Wait a minute. Does it mean that Rose's husband, so then husband, just told her, hi, babe, meet your co-wife. Is that what happened? Are you serious right now? Oh, my goodness. I am already tensed. You know, my hands are already wet, okay? <laughs> I'm about to box somebody, right? <laughs> what? What? Okay. Well, let's let's continue. Let's go on. Through your story. Uh, let me take you a little bit behind of uh -huh. where we met. <laughs> So we met back in 2010 in KU. We were both freshers. Uh, we mm. fell in love. Yeah, and just for your information, guys, I also went to KU, but I was in KU nursery school. Then I upgraded to KU primary school, but I never went to KU university. Okay, so I see, I can see the setup, you know, for the KU. And most couples in KU, when they meet in KU, they moved in fast. I know, like my childhood friend, and now she has. They have beautiful children and everything, and a beautiful family. They met in KU. They moved in very fast, and so on and so forth. So, 
crazy completely so we moved in from the uh i hope when my mom sees this she'll not be worried <laughs> <laughs> well, you we were supposed to, to be more, in the hostel. To more, yeah. yeah, you were supposed to be in the hostel, but who love. So I moved from my hostel. He moved from his. We looked for like a single room. What did I say? What did I say? That's a KU vibe. To be honest, guys, that's a KU vibe. It was always. It ended up like you were in the in hostels, and you go to the hostels together, then you move out. And yeah, so you just take a, a, a bed sitter and that's all. And we started life from there. It was beautiful. So life went on. We used to go to school together. Mm. We used to do the same course in KU. And then uh, sometimes we Skype class and, you know, you love, eh? Good, uh, uh, nice time. Eh? Yeah. So in third year, I became pregnant. Mm. with my first child yeah. okay. who is now eight years old uh when i got pregnant with her i remember a friend of mine was telling me oh i've missed my menses and i was like what's wrong with you why are you crazy or yeah. something then all of a sudden i was like wait a minute so she was like, yes. So I went, bought that thing for testing, and then I put it in the house. Then early in the morning, we tested with my my husband. Yes. So uh, he's the one who looked, you know, when I just put it in the whatever. Yes. And then I was so scared, so I put it there. Then he went and looked. He came out of the, the room. We were living in a place, so he came out and he was dancing. We are family, and I was like, please, please, please. I hope this is not true. So he kept holding. Down. Yeah, and I can understand because when you're a student and you're you're still pursuing your studies, then it's a different thing when you fall pregnant when you're still a student. So yeah, I can just imagine the shock, and you know, just asking yourself a thousand questions like, what what are we going to do? But I hope he was supportive because I guess if he was dancing, we are a family, then he must have been very supportive and very happy to be a father. Couple lines. Yes. Woo. Anywho. <laughs> but he was so excited. So I was like, wow. Okay. You know? Okay. Yeah. most people are sure ni mimi, you know. So I was so happy. So nakumbuka nikienda nyumbani and I told my mom. And I was like, even if mom will be angry and maybe chase me away, because of course, every cha- every parent, right. especially university, yes. mm-hmm. they want them to finish. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. You know. So, like, okay, it matter. Yes, because you need to understand something in the African setting. Um, marriage is very important, and especially back in Africa, and for you to have children outside marriage, it's not it's not a good thing. It's shameful to the family. So you find that most uh, most young women, when they fall pregnant, whether or not they're in school, there is like the parents push them to be married so that they can remove the shame from the family. So you have so many unwanted marriages because it was just to... And then because you're in a Christian society, it's just a way of just, you know, just just sugarcoating everything you know like they did it in the right way and stuff so yeah so it's really tough you know to be in that situation and then nika nika end up but i had a lot of a lot of courage yeah. because nili niliona my man amekubali so okay. nika muambia so my, of course my mom was disappointed yeah. she was a bit disappointed mm. so akanyamaza kidogo and then after like two minutes, I can use any flani. I had already taken the mantle. Okay. You see, to lipatana first year, this is third year, so we've been together yes. for, for around two and a half something years. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I lipana mujua, and I had not taken anybody else before. Okay. So I can use any flani. I can use any yes. I can say, but then it's okay. I was like, ah. thank God. Hey. Yes, that support from your mom must have been so good so relieving okay so the other thing is the dad was your father how what was your father's reaction i don't know if you're going to say that was 2012 so 2016 i conceived my second child Uh 
telling my second child life was good. There was no problem all this time, I'm telling you. There were no even signs. Nothing. There was nothing. My goodness, that man, eh? He yeah. was just the perfect man you would think about. He was loving, very yeah. polite, mm-hmm. cool. Yani alikuwa mependwa mpaka nyumbani. My mom, hey, madhia limpenda. Yeah. My mom loved him so much. Mpaka kwetu, yani alikuwa nga mechukuluwa like a son. Unajua? Like mpaka kwetu tulikuwa nga madhia metujengia nyumba yetu kando. Wow. Me and him. Specifically for me and him is the Wow. I so I can just imagine the pain, the disappointment, the disgust when everything else happened after that because oh my goodness for you to stand that it must have been so challenging, you know, just to just to overcome and him just changing the whole perspective of your relationship because that's what happened and you can imagine I think the shame also that comes with it, you know, your folks loved him, everybody loved him and then Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, Rose. So painful. He's like, uh-uh. when these people come, he's like, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Mm. 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 Ah, uh, nimi njo nilikuwa nimejifungua like few weeks ago so sikuwa nimerudi kanisa. So for him, akachukua my big girl na akatotoka sisangu mwingine kalikuwa kwetu wakaenda church. So mi nikapaki na haka kanilipon. Okay. Wakaenda church and then abaku, uh, after church, wakaniambia, akaniambia amepeleka watoto eh, wakachenze. So uh, we was okay, I was okay. Yeah. Then, at around some seven, seven something in the evening, they were coming back, he called me. He told me, uh, hi, what's for supper? I'm like, uh, what do you want to eat? I was like, okay, I was thinking of cooking ugali. Maybe you can come with stew. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, mm-hmm. and I'm coming with a guest. I was excited. I love visitors. Yes, I do. And this time, I thought he was coming with my sister because the place he had taken the children to play and my... I, I also... No, wait a minute. So, are you telling us that he... <laughs> are you telling us that he had the audacity to bring his side chick to your home? No, 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 no. No. Please tell me that's not what you're going to say. Are you going to say right now that he brought his side chick to your house? You were just from giving birth and he comes with his side chick to your house? I told him he had gone with my, my daughter and my niece. Right. Uh, so I thought he's the mother to my niece, my sister, who was coming. So I was like, oh, wow, welcome. Could you You're welcome. So they came. And then when they came, I saw a very tiny girl, very, very slender, <laughs> dark. And I was like, who is this girl? And then I, I said, okay, hi, Karibuni. So I said, hi. She was like, okay, I'm Lani. I was like, oh, it's you. I, I knew her. She was one of our workers. Oh, she was. What? What do you mean right now? What? One yes, of your workers. Yes, she was. But you had not met her. I had not you met her. You just knew the name. Yes, I knew the name. Where, where? <laughs> <laughs> Lynn, where, where? What? This is juicy. This is shocking. This is name it. I cannot, I cannot believe it for a second that he had the audacity to bring a girl, his side chick, to your house. And second of all, the girl was your employee so i was like oh so it's you welcome you know they got in so when he when my hubby got in i kissed him and i don't know why i, I just felt something funny that this was so, so soft his lips were soft. Yeah, so soft and supple and uh, uh, when you started uh, applying some gloss or something what? so anywho 
there was nothing anyway, obviously. Were you not shocked why he's coming with one of really? your employees really? at let me, let that me tell time? You, let me tell you, Liz. What time was it? And of course, it was late. I, I just imagine it must have been late because you said after church, your hubby took the children out. So they must it must have been late. I, I assume, you know, must have been like 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. And... Uh, what business do you do? Was it like a job where people work late? Because it doesn't make sense to me. And why speak business in your house? It doesn't add up. It doesn't. It was seven. Uh, 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 let me tell you, Lee. What time was it? It was seven. Uh, 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 yeah, my question also. Same exact question. <laughs> it's 7 p.m. And he's coming back home with an employee. Make it make sense. Oh, my okay. God. Okay, so Akasema, she's just come to, uh, the visitor has just come to see, uh, to just visit and say hi to the baby. Oh. And she had come with a very big uh, uh, diapers. This is uh, Jumbo, the big okay. one. So I took the, the diapers. I was like, okay, welcome. And then... <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry I keep stopping, but I will throw those diapers at you the minute I know you're the side chick. I will just bang you over with your diapers. Take them. And we were co- we were ready in the kitchen with the house girl. We were cooking, and then we had already finished cooking ugali. So he had come with fish. I went and fried the fish. So nice. And then you know she she came and then she took the baby. You know she went to the sink, washed her hands, took the baby and held the baby. Uh, then my hubby then he came. And then um, my house was quite bigger, and uh, where I was, I was seated on a three-seater. Then there was a two-seater here and a two-seater here. So the girl had sat on a two-seater. Then he, when he came, he went straight to the bedroom, changed his clothes, put on a short, and then came. Instead of sitting where I am, he sat next to her. And then, and the distance was not so big, like, like. A meter and a half apart. Usually, he would have sat next, next to, to me. Exactly. Yeah, which which makes sense. You're you're the you're the wife. You're not even the girlfriend. You're the wife. You know, he should sit next to you. So he he did. I could not grasp of anything they were talking about. Like they were just whispering. Whispering. But mm. let me tell you, Lynn. I was so in love. And let me tell you, this man had not shown no. me nothing for seven years. Not even one. So all this time, even when they are talking, eh, I would mm. not even think of. Yeah, I get the picture. I guess he just knew how sweet a person you are, how in love you are. He thought he was. It was. It would have been easy for him to manipulate you, and you know. So yeah. So he played you. You know. He really did. Which is a pity because he's lost a family and a beautiful family. Two children. Oh my goodness. Anything bad about that? Mm. Mm. So I was like, Connie, how this, this girl is a bit timid. And maybe she, she, maybe she talks like that. You know, I had all the reasons to not think right. of anything bad. So uh, mm. the food was ready. I served the food. I took the baby from her. I told her, Karibu. We ate. And it was on a Sunday. You we were watching Churchill. Okay. Yes. Listen, girl, you are too good. You are such, honestly, to be honest with you, if it were me, somebody I don't know, it's on a Sunday, it's 7 p.m., the soft lights, I mean, all the red lights are just like blowing everywhere that I'm looking at. I will ask for an explanation right there and then. There is no like, I'm cooking for you, you're you're holding my baby, none of that. None of that. I, I, I can't. I would have asked, who are you? What are you doing here at this time? I know you, you're my employee. So I would have like, like just blowing her up, you know, with questions. And especially my husband, he would have to answer those questions as well, because I have nothing against this girl, honestly. And I don't understand how people get at the side chicks. You know, I don't get it because this girl has nothing to lose. She's just looking up for... She's also... She's single. So she's living her life, okay? But my husband, on the other hand, has committed... He's, he's supposed to be loyal to me. He's committed himself to me, to our children. So it's his fault. But, girl, the patience that you had, 
to cook for them and blah and this and that hmm wow <laughs> i hope this just serves as a lesson guys do not tolerate bull from people do not do not you know people you love they owe you loyalty and that is very important loyalty and respect they owe you that the minute they cross a line then it's done for me it's game over game over so rose <laughs> i hope i don't know if you're dating but if you do i hope you learn from the from that lesson and don't stand don't tolerate stuff like that ever again respect yourself enough to you know not to stand such bull you know so uh, let me ask you when you say she was one of your employees yes. you guys you had a company together yes yeah we were doing online writing okay mm -hmm. and so this was one of one of our writers okay yes mm -hmm. i never thought about anything but anyway let me not lie i might look like a stupid woman but let me tell you i had i didn't have any reason to doubt my mm -hmm. man then so it's reached around 10 and uh he said let me uh Zindiksha, the, the the guest i was like okay so where are the car keys i gave him he left at 10. the girl apparently used to live like a few kilometers away the man stayed he stayed this time that he, he left i called the two girls already something mm -hmm. I, I feel something now i tell i, I asked the babies uh where did you get her from Ah, oh, mommy, we came from church and we went there, we took her, we've been with her the whole day. Like, we've been playing and, and him has been staying with, she's been staying with daddy. <sighs> okay, okay, you can go and sleep. Sorry. The audacity, the disrespect in front of your children. You can imagine what you're teaching, you can just imagine what you're teaching your children. It's okay to cheat, my daughters. It's okay if your husband cheats on you. It's okay. That's the lesson that that's what he showed his, you know, his children. And it's such, it's disgusting, actually, you know, because we as parents should be very careful with what we show our children because it makes them normal. They look up to us. So, my goodness. Wow. I waited for the man. <clears throat> At around 12, I was like, wow, two hours. And I understand you have been together the whole day. Right. I called him. He picked. He was like, oh, what are going to happen? Just around the corner, I'm coming. He took another 30 minutes. He came. So when he got into the house, I asked him, babe, do you have anything to, to worry, worry about? about? He was like, what? Like what? Nothing. I was like... No, my spirit is not like. Right. Tell me, is there anything? Because, eh, how do you tell me you've spent with this girl the whole day, and here you are, you've taken her home, you stayed, we stayed here, you've taken mm. her home, you stayed for another two and a half hours, really. There's nothing. Why do you think he's, she stays around the roundabout? You know, when I take, her, I'll have to get in and blah blah blah, all that end of stuff. Yeah, was, manipulation. Like, and why are you raising your voice on me? So it's like, I'm not raising, I'm just telling you the fact, you know? There's nothing. I insisted. I asked him for the fourth time, tell me, tell me, what is happening? He was like, oh, <laughs> baby, don't worry. Now he's rubbing my back like this. Ah, eh? <laughs> oh, baby, don't worry. It's okay. Uh, there's something. He did exactly this. There's something, but there's something, but uh, I joined a fire. It's not gone that far. We <laughs> just like, I, <laughs> I'm in disbelief right now. What? Do such people exist, really? Because if there is consent, okay, don't get me wrong, because I know there's some couples. Um, who like, you know, who like a three, what do you call them, the throuples, you know, relationship where there are three people. Okay, I get it when it's, when it's, when the other adult, ha you know, consents to it. But in this case, she didn't ask for anything. She didn't sign for it. 
and he just says it like, oh, there is something, it's just the beginning, what, what, <laughs> no, 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 I was like, what did you just say, he's like, don't worry, baby. I'm telling you, I love you. I love you, and and we've not even gone any far. We're just trying to. Hey, hey, hey. I screamed. Hey, I screamed. Yani, if that building still stands today, hey, those those architects, the, whatever that builder, they're just the best. Right. I, I let a loud scream in disbelief. Yeah, and the pain. Yeah. I woke up. I took my phone. She's my employee. I have a number. I dialed it. This time he didn't know who I want to call. So he's, he's back seated like this. He didn't know who I'm calling. So I dialed the number and I call. She receives. Hi, Rosie. Mambo. I'm like, hi. Do you know Flani is a married man? This is the time he knew who I was talking to. He dashed. My goodness. Oh my His goodness. man literally flew. Shut. Took my phone. Nakazima. He shouted for the first time in seven years. Trust me. Some maybe somebody will think I'm like we never fought. Like ilikuwa to ile kawaida. Okay. Like where haven't you cooked? I don't I don't want this food. You know the kawaida things. But you know what? I I just want to say his loss. Look at Rose. Look at how intelligent she is. Look at how beautiful she is. Look at how her hair looks good. Look at how her, she has a beautiful dimple. Listen, his loss, okay, not yours. Because I think this experience made you grow, made you a better woman, a better mom, despite the challenges, okay? I'm not saying there were no, I'm sure there were thousands and thousands of challenges, but what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and his loss. I, I just want to say his loss, his loss. So my goodness what but now a fight this was the first one in seven years mm. he shouted he told me talk to me talk to me <laughs> i'm the one who wants her not the other way around hey i was like oh you're the one who does what are you serious what? He said, I'm the one who wants her, <laughs> not her wanting me. He told you hey. that on your face. <sighs> Lynn. To me. Lynn. He told you that on yes. your face. He said, I'm the one who wants her, yes. not the other way yes. around. What? Yes. <gasps> I was like, the audacity. Really? The, such people exist? Really? You know, because, listen, guys, I'm nervous. That's why I'm laughing, okay? I'm nervous right now. Because I know most people will just deny it and they will just try and, you know, play it in the low. But from the word go, from the word go, I feel like he knew what he wanted. Do you, do you see what I mean? I feel like um, he knew exactly what he was doing by bringing her so she, so Rosie would ask him questions and he had to answer them at some point. So all these was like planned out in his head for some reason. So I feel that's the reason why, um, you know, he, he, I mean, eventually he admitted it and he was like, and now he's saying he's the one who wants her. So, wow. Okay. So let's say respect to him for admitting it, but that was not the way to go about it. He would have broken up with Rosie first before, you know, going with another girl, especially if Rosie did not, she didn't sign up for that. So, crazy. When did this happen? Right. How? Where? <laughs> Look, this man, we used to do writing together. What? We would wake up and sleep together. Right. Like, this man never left the house. I was like, when did this happen? Like, we had so many employees but we never knew them face to face. Mm -hmm. okay. We knew them, like somebody would bring, would tell us, hi, there's 
I was given your number by so and so. I do writing. Okay, we we interview them. Until it's online, yes. we don't like here. Yeah. We literally never like we knew like one or two. Mm-hmm. I was like, where did you meet this guy? Where? How? Wow. How did you even? Start? Why? You know? Right. All those answers I never got. Them. Mm-hmm. But that's another thing that you should know is. I mean, someone who wants to cheat always finds a way, you know, always finds a way to go about it. You know, it doesn't mean you're 24 seven with someone that they will never cheat. It doesn't mean that you never see the person that they will cheat, you know? So anybody who it's in the, it's in the, it's in the genes, you know, you're a cheater by, I don't know what, um, if you're a cheater, always a cheater. So they will always find time you know, and today with the phones, it's easy, you know, it's, it's easy to cheat, you know, with your phone and reaching out to them. So he probably just reached out to her as the boss and then things went left, you know? So I feel that anybody who wants to cheat, they will always, 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 always find a way about it. Simple. It's very easy. He told me, don't worry. You know, I love you, but I love her too. Hey, that thing would not come. It, it wouldn't get inside right. my head. I love you. I love her. How? How now? Why? Mm-hmm. You know, like we've always told ourselves, we will be together till death do us part. Forever and ever. We never right. did a wedding, yes. But we had our vows. We had our vows. Me, him, and God. Right. And we decided it is until death do us part. Hmm. For seven years, I can tell you, at a mini lichokozwa. Yes. People were all, all around and telling me, oh, blah, 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 all, all such kind of things. But you never stepped out I of your never, marriage. I loved that man. Hmm. I did. God is my witness. Right. I cried. I cried. I went to bed. I remember texting that girl. You see, like, I can't call because now I know I will not call because he's already snatched my phone. So I took the phone. I texted her. I told her, Flani, please, for heaven's sake, please. I may not know why men cheat because I'm not a man, but I'm a woman and you're a woman. Maybe they are weak. You can say no, and he will not pursue you. But if you agree, he will. Please, for the sake of my children, remember, I'm your boss. Yeah, but you know what? Let me tell you something. I can understand uh, where you're coming from because you were desperate at that point, and you loved him so much, and you were also thinking about your family, the children, and it was a roller coaster of emotions for you, um, Rose. Um. But let me tell you, if it wasn't her, it would have been another woman. You know, if it wasn't that other woman, it would have been another, because this is something that was in him, within him, you know. And I feel like if this girl, for some reason, still came to your house knowing that she had an affair with him, then she was also pursuing him in a way. You get, you see what I'm coming from? And I feel like she was as demonic as he was because... Uh, she knew that he has a, a family and I mean, so this is a girl who had no morals, a girl for the streets, as easy as that. So I feel that even if you, she would have accepted, if she was a good person, like um, someone with a heart, I would say, then if it wasn't her, it, he would have jumped to the next girl. So the problem was not even this other girl because she was single and probably, you know, there were men have a way of talking to girls and making you believe that you're the only one. Oh my gosh, we have problems. I have problems with my wife and blah, blah, blah. But if it wasn't her, it would have been another guy, another girl. Simple. I, I strongly believe so because this is something that was in him. And yeah, any girl would have, you know, would have been good for him. Any, any, any girl. At least respect me. Right. That must have been hard. It was hard. Remember, she had been in my house like an hour ago. And you cooked some, for her. Some, some hours ago. And all this time she's in my house, she's looking and looking and looking, looking and telling me, oh, you have a beautiful house, you have a beautiful house. And when she was leaving, I remember telling her, 
uh, thank you for coming. We'll also come visit you. She was like, I live in a third seat. I was like, don't worry, you also started there. You have to start from somewhere. You can't climb the tree from right. the top. When I texted her that, told her to leave my man alone, she texted me back and told me, insecurities galol, kojoa ulali. <laughs> huh? Yes. Oh, okay. This is not funny. But what? Yes. Kojoa ulali. Kojoa ulali. Wow. Wow. I have nothing to say about that. So she she know I mean she knew exactly what she was doing. She knew who she was going out with. She knew exactly what she wanted to do and unfortunately she destroyed your family and and intentionally, you know, intentionally. But you know what? What goes round always always comes back around. Hey. This was hard. I remember showing my husband that message. And he told me, just leave her alone. Just leave her alone. Mm. Just, mm. It's okay, you just leave. Okay. From that day, he made everything now out. He, he brought it out. He couldn't hide anymore. What right. Yes. He laid everything on everything the table. Everything bare. What did he say? He would call her right in front of me. Hi, baby. What? How are you doing? I miss you. I want to come. And, I, I'm coming. You know? He will shower and apply all the manukatos. What? In the morning, he'll come in the evening. Then this, this, this time I remember I called him. Calling him, the garlic cakes. Hey, Namambia, my friend, can you give the owner the phone? Eh? Oh, <laughs> Amanda, Cho, did you mean me? So I remember there is this day I was so mad. After calling him and the girl picked and texting him and the girl replies. But then you mean kona simu yake? So what uh, you know? Yes. And then I got so mad I texted him and I told him you will die. I told him that. Why are you punishing me? My God will kill you and that woman. Why are you doing this to me? Mm. You know? And then she would reply. Honey, she would call me that. <laughs> Where oh, I, I can't believe you're wishing the father of your kids dead. I wish him long life. You see, like she's just pretending to be the best of the best. Like, mm-hmm. how would I just come from the blues and wish somebody that I've lived with seven years dead? You, you can imagine it's the pain. It's pain right. just coming out, you know? Yes. You know, the pain from the disrespect. You know, when you value somebody high in your esteem when you love somebody with your whole soul and mind you've given him children you've come for from far you've been dating for seven years and the i mean the marriage has been you know has been wonderful until out of the blues because you know i mean if you had so many problems in your marriage you can say yeah probably the reason you can try and and justify and try and you know and make it make sense but In this case, you can't. Everything was going well. Of course, couples have misunderstandings, but that's okay. But for him to go ahead and disrespect you like that in front of your children, in front of his uh, side chick, my goodness, he didn't deserve you an ounce. He didn't. He did not, okay? But I feel that you're a strong woman you're a woman of God, as from what I can tell so far. And I feel that you you just leave it to God. I, that's how, that's a vibe that I'm getting from you right now. You're so consilient. I think you went through different stages, like the shock, then trying to save your marriage, then being resilient, then, you know, trying, for, trying I mean, you, you did your best so that, you know, he can have a relationship with your children 
And I feel that, you know, you're, you know, you're just trying to make sure that everything is fine for your children now. And that is so intelligent of you. There is no point of holding your children back from him. Whatever he did, leave it to God. Just leave it to God. You know, everything, we pay for everything under the sun. We sure do. Time came then, like after one week, my mother came Mm -hmm. to visit now the baby. When my mother came, Mama Yamutu, Mama Yamutu, Mama Yamutu, she came, uh, my uh, husband then was cooking, my name is a very good cook, he was cooking, so I went in the stage to go for my mother and my aunties, they had mizigos, whatever, I went for them. Mm-hmm. So I remember all this time, I am so disturbed, I remember and then I reversed. I almost hit someone. And my mom was like, are you okay? I was like, yes, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. So we went home. We reached home. We ate. We we danced. Mary. We showed yes, you know, in total. Uh, it was my mom, my auntie, the sister, and the husband. So we stayed, and uh, we had a very good time. Okay, to me, it was... Mm-hmm. But it, well, it was a good time, but how I really pretended and hid mm-hmm. everything. Yeah. So the following day, they were supposed to leave. My mother, she told me, Rose, are you okay? I was like, yes, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. She was like, no, come. She held me. What is the problem? I was like, what? She's like, tell me, I'm your mother and I can't. I couldn't hide it anymore. I said, mm-hmm. God. Maybe you're the one who showed her so that I can open up. She will talk to him. And maybe he's on my shetan because to me, call them that, mm. they will show her. Mm-hmm. You know, he will listen to me because let me tell you that man, he respected my mother and he loved her. Mm. I remember like my dad passed on a long time ago and my mom never remarried. Mm. So okay. I remember him was telling me, by the way, if I happen to die, I would wish you, you don't remarry. I would wish you to respect the love that we had like your mother did to oh, your yeah. dad. Oh. And I promised, by the way. Yeah. Mm. Yes. But that was then. Yes. That was because uh, he was talking about death. Mm. Now he's not dead. Mm. He just decided to leave me for another woman. My mother, uh, it's, it's hard. So she was like, so do you think we can incorporate your auntie and your uncle? I was like, okay, I think we should. Maybe if he listens from my uncle now who would stay like my dad. Mm -hmm. And of course my mom, he will listen. Right. Ah, So Yes, because this is something that uh, in the, uh, let me just say the Kenyan setting, whenever there are problems or troubles, be it in a couple, be it in a family between brothers and sisters, be it something to do with anything. It can be like um, a farm or a plot or if any, 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 any disagreements within a family, we always call the elders. So the elders could be the grandparents, could be the, the father, the mom, the aunties, who would come together and then they would try and, and find a solution. So it's always like a very, you know, because there's this respect for, you know, for the elderly and also for people who are older than you. So there is this respect, form of respect, And people tend to listen to them and not, you know, disappoint them or go against, you know, the promise that you, you know, that you, that you make. So, yeah, so I guess I believe it was the perfect moment for you. I mean, everything just turned out in a good way in the sense that, you know, your mom, your aunt and your uncle could talk to him. And, you know, probably was there was still like hope at that point for you. So let's see how it went. Had a meeting. Mm hmm. So my mom was like, okay, go go right on. Tell me what you, you the problem is. Mm. So I started narrating what had happened. Okay. I talked. He was there, silent. I talked and said everything from A to Z. Okay. Then, Akaudizwa, is it true? He did not deny. Even one bit. Even in front of your mom. Even in front of my mother. You know, when I, I talk to people and tell them that, you know, they are like, wow. I think most men, like, uh-uh, mm. we can't do this. Okay. And then, and then much later, you know, such kind. So he said, 
it's true. Yeah. I, I he told my mom, I love your daughter. She's my first wife. I love her so much. And I still love the other one. And I will marry her. Mm-hmm. So I'll have two wives. Yes. So my mom was like, wow. Can you show me one polygamous family that has stood? One. That does not have any issues. Right. It was like, I've never seen, but mine will. Wow. So my mom was so angry. She was like, I'll go home with my daughter. Then my auntie and my uncle were like, no, please don't. Don't go with her. Let, them, let her remain. Maybe they will sort out their issues. So we remained. Now it became worse. Telling my mother was another issue. Wow. Why did you tell your mom? Yes. Why did you tell your mom? You should have just let her stay with I was like, but she's the one who realized they have an issue. She right. asked. And of course, you know, you tell your parents you wish that uh, you you wish that. Yeah, for real, your, your ex was a narcissist manipulator. 100%. No doubt about it. You know, making you feel bad for something that he did, something that he provoked, something that um you know that has destroyed his family and he wants you to feel bad about it by asking for help no way you know so terrible that uh, she will do what Mm. she will help so i tell him why are you doing this you know i don't even have the the strength to fight no more i'm not even raising my voice Mm -hmm. i'm talking so why are you doing this you know remember i'm I'm breastfeeding yes right this time i had cried the milk was gone you're not only hurting me, you're mm. hurting the baby. the baby. No milk for the baby. He told me, uh-uh, the women that die giving birth, what do the children drink? He goes to the supermarket, he buys like five tins of naan. He brings and puts there, peam toto. I start giving the baby naan. All this time, I'm like, my goodness, what is this? Anywho, after three weeks, I had had it mm-hmm. after a year. I told you I had not seen anything like that in my life. Right. So you are still in disbelief. Yes. And deep down you are thinking, Apana ni meshetani too. Yes. They will leave my husband yes. alone. Yes. But okay, nothing yeah. is changing. Nothing is changing. Mm-hmm. He's become the worst of so the worst. So now it's game over. It's game over. I told him on 7th May. I told him now, I've had it. I've had it. If you're not leaving that girl, just go. Go and live with her. Mm-hmm. You can be sure I didn't mean it. I wanted him to see okay. the magnitude of pain he's taken me through for him to stop. Right. You know, you see? Yeah, you just wanted to provoke him and probably just make him realize that he's making the wrong decision. You know, at this point, you're trying everything in your power to you know, just to, just to shake, you just want to shake him and tell him, hey, you know, this is not the person that I'm married to, this is not my husband, this is, you know, who are you, and just trying to make him realize that he's about, you know, to lose his family, and, and more importantly, you. and he has, she has let you go, you realize, by the way, this is too much, Right. let me stop the nonsense I'm doing, Mm -hmm. hey, I had given him what he had always wanted. I told him on 7th May, Usiku, the following day, 8th May, he left. Wow. Remember hapo mbeleni? Kuna siku alikuwa natoka. I, I ran and got into the car. Nikamambia leo tunaenda na yoko huyo mwanamke. I have to see what it is that she, she has. has that I love. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. I remember getting inside the car and he told me, where are you going? I told him, I am uh, uh, to Naira. You see? So he, he, he switches off the car mm. and comes out. I follow him. This time, na a plot. So people are looking at us. We go back. He tells me, where do you want me? Where are you? Why do you want to turn me to a, a violent man? Mm-hmm. Remember, for seven years, that man had never raised his voice. He had never raised his hand on me. So he remember telling me, ah, ah, you know? So we fought Kidogo. Then we went back to the car. He went to the car. I got him. He switched off the car, took the key off, and left. Kaniyaja kwa gari. Sasa niendeshe kila ufungu. 
Tuende kwenye ulikuwa yes. ndaa kwenda. Eh. Akapanda ndudi and he left. Bye. I remember wait. I was thinking, should I blow this thing out? Nilipue tu, you know? Alternative, ama nitoe miguu akikuja asiweze kuendesha. Mm. You know, like I had stayed with the kind of kwa nimejua mpaka the mechanics of it I would najua kutoa miguu kuweka nini nini, you know. Kitoko kitoko I, I thought ah, it's just too much. Wow. I called him. Come to you come. and go wherever you want. And I waited for him to come before the guys ran fact. Kumbuka ameenda na ijabunga. Mm-hmm. The good woman still yeah. playing the good woman. I waited for him until he took the guy mm-hmm. left. So this time now on eighth, he's leaving. Hmm? Did he pack his stuff? He took his laptop, a few clothes, and left. he left everything back. So I remember him coming, going out, and our big girl is asking him that time he was, she was four years. Daddy, unaenda? Mm. is like naenda job. Daddy, kwani naenda job usiku? Why? Eh, hey, naenda tu job. Si unajua job tunafanyanga usiku. She's like Daddy, kwani kwa job kuna kitanda? Utalala kwa job. Mm. It's like eh hey, kwa job kuna kitanda. Wow. You see? Mm. So she's like, "Okay, Daddy, unilete wafers, unilete marshmallows, unilete, 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 you know, very innocently." She's asking for all those things. And then after she finishes asking for them, she's like, "Mommy, sweetisha za kopia." Oh, this time I'm thinking, "Oh, baby. Mm. I wish you me. Right. I only wish you me." Mimi nasemanga, "If I were the one leaving him at that time, and the baby asked for all that and i know what i'm doing i would have cancelled right if it were me for the i would have called that girl mm-hmm. or that man apparently if it were me mm-hmm. i tell him by the way it's over for the sake of my family mm-hmm. right he did not even he blink yeah no for him um the you were not his priority his children were not his priority you know he had this other woman uh, as his priority and that's on that and i also believe that if he had stayed and he had already committed what i mean what he had already done cheated on you then you would have been insecure your whole relationship rose that's my belief i believe you would have been so unhappy because by the end of the day the the the, the situation would have stayed at the back of your head all your life you would have started you know um uh, surveying what he's doing who he's calling what he's doing at what time is he coming back all those things that it would have been a toxic relationship so i would say it was it was a blessing in disguise the fact that he didn't come back because i believe your your relationship would never have been the same again staying for the children would have not uh solved the situation and not saved your marriage whatsoever because remember this same person has done it once he would have done it again and again and again and again he did not blink all this time his phone in alia in the mother the girl is calling eventually he left he went got into the car and left so after leaving bus it was like that he stayed the following day he's calling Hey guys, are you okay? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So from there he started coming once in a while and to see the babies like once in a, in a week, then he went once in two weeks, then he went once in a month, then he went three months, then is there's even a year that he didn't come. Even to see the babies. Like 2019 it was really hard hard for us. We never saw him. 2019. So we left the the place we used to live because he, he was, was not even paying for us rent. Was not doing anything. We left. Went stayed with my sister. Life was hard oh, in 2018. 2019. 20, 2019. Sorry, oh, 2019. Mm-hmm. But thank God, Corona year, God came with blessings. 20, 2020, when everyone is crying, God came through for me. Mm-hmm. In May. I found work. You see? I found work much as uh, I just stayed kidogo I didn't work a lot. I 
But when I left, I left with experience. Okay. Yes. So I thank God today. I am a, I, I brand. Oh. I do branding. Oh my goodness! Look how pretty she is. You know. I am. Look at that. She's so pretty. Um. Wow. And it just turned her into a businesswoman, and now she's doing branding and. She's selling her stuff. She's, you know, she's an independent woman. And I think, let me tell you, I'm a, I'm a soul believer of anything that happens to you in life is for a reason. Everybody who comes into your life is there to teach you a lesson. Everybody who goes out of your life is there to teach you a lesson as well. So I believe it was like a blessing in disguise in the sense that it pushed you you know, to do things that you would never have done before if you were just with your husband, you know, you could have depending on, depending on him running the business and you just, you know, taking care of the employees or stuff like that. But, you know, you managed to go so, so far alone and you can be proud of yourself and, you know, the person that you've become. So every person who comes into your life is a blessing. Any person who lives your life is a blessing too. I am a, I, I brand I do branding, mm -hmm. so anything you all the t-shirts like this one and oh. another ones I have mugs, water okay. bottles, cups, everything name it. We will brand for you both mm -hmm. yours and the corporate. Mm. You're most welcome. Right. And that's how you're supporting your kids. That is how. Uh, yes, that is how I'm. I'm, I'm supporting my kids. Mm -hmm. At least uh, let me. I like uh, I said when I was starting. I'm not here to to to. to Mm -hmm. So what what is good about him, I will say, and what is not good, I have already seen. Mm -hmm. But what is good, let me say, he's now trying, you know, he's he's coming back to his children's life, not my life, his ch children's okay. life, and I thank God. Mm -hmm. Because I remember asking God, fight for me. And there is a scripture God gave me, Exodus 14, 14. After praying and crying and all, God told me, be still mm. and, know. and know that I am God. Be still. I became still. Mm. And you are still still. I am still. Mm -hmm. I don't call him because anytime I call him, she will pick. It's like she, she already diverted my call in her phone. She will pick. Every time I try, she will pick. Right. And tell me, what do you want to tell my husband? All the time. She will make sure she... And a new misa. Mm -hmm. So I stopped calling. I stopped. And I told God, if my mama wanted to call my daddy today, how will she? My dad is gone. Mm. My daddy is dead. I told God, help me to stay like my mother. She cannot call my dad. So I don't call. But I thank God. At times, I will see his call. Mm -hmm. And I will get the and they will be so, Daddy, God, they are so excited. You are not trying to create a... I am not trying to create any barrier between him and the, mm -hmm. and the children. Yeah. They... And that's a very important attitude. It's perfect. love him. They love, including the small one that never knew him. Okay. She calls him superhero. Mm. And I thank God. Mm. I am so happy. When I see that bond, I bless God. Mm -hmm. Because he told me to be still and he's fighting. Mm. Right. Is there a part in your life that says I should have accepted a co-wife? Not, not at all. <laughs> and you, whoever you are, wherever you are, and you think you might come in my life and think you can bring a co-wife, it will not happen. Right. That is not my portion. Yeah. I believe God said that. Yes, you didn't sign for it, and it's not your portion, like you said. You know, you didn't. You don't sign for something like that. So. Yeah, there is no way you're going to accept it and you need to stand your ground in whatever, in whatever. So this is a very important lesson to most women who just like say, okay, well, you know, no, you did not sign for it, so do not accept it. A man will leave his parents, be united with a wife, and the two will become one. Right. Not the three. Not the three mm. or the four. The two, man and wife. Mm. So you don't regret I do not regret Right. The only thing I, I, I just wished that he, he saw his problem that time and came back to his senses. Mm. But unfortunately, he did it. Let me ask you, what part about all these hurts you the most? 
the fact that I had loved him so much. Mm. I had and had given my life to him. Mm. I had given my life to him so much and I didn't expect that that would happen. Oh, let me let me let me thank a few people yes, that please. has have come please. along the way. Mm-hmm. I want to thank God first of all okay. so much. He has stood by me. I want to thank my mother and my family. Oh, mm-hmm. live long, mama, mm-hmm. and my family too, and my little baby girls. I love them so much. Mm-hmm. I also want to thank two people in specific. Mm-hmm. There is one called Johnson and another one called Nyamori. When they see, they will know. They came through for me. When I gave back to my second child, I developed Fistina. Mm-hmm. They came through for me and made sure that you... Yo, fistula is so painful. I know my dad had it for a few years. That thing is no joke, you know? What? Oh, my goodness. So everything just... Your world tumbled, you know? You all just fell apart, you know? But I'm so happy to see your smile. I'm so happy to know that your... You know that your, your mom is there for you. Your family is there for you. You have friends who are there for you because... There is no way you can go through all that, you know, the storm alone in this kind of situation. So I'm so happy that everything is, you know, back to normal now. Amen. Kenyatta, and I got a surgery. Amen. Yes. God bless you. Amen. Jonte and uh, Nyamori. Mm-hmm. So much. Today I'm okay. She does zahaja kutoka. I am good. Oh, good. I thank God. Mm. Amen. Mm. Kai, why, you know, earlier on, before we started the show, you told me you've been watching this show and you've been wanting to share your story, yes. but you've been hesitant. Why was it important for you to finally come and sit here and share your story? Yeah, I know many women have gone through that or worse. And maybe a man too. By the way, there are also men that are left by their wives mm-hmm. and mistreated. But a few give up along the way. You will find a woman will take her ch- children and go through themselves, kwa barabara, kwa river, or give children uh, poison. Right. My dears, please don't do that. There is life after divorce. Right. There is life. Your children need you. Your parents need you. Mm-hmm. You need you. Yeah. You know, there was you before. Right. Before this marriage, there was you. Right. There should be you after. after. Can you just imagine he's gone? He's right. dead. You know, life has to continue. You know, life has to continue. And your children, they are looking up to you. Please don't deny them mm-hmm. that. Pray. Just hold on. Mm. Hold on. Work mm-hmm. and for the women that are not, and I will just so excuse me for pausing again, but I just want you to imagine something um, a cake, you know, for bakers to make it look, you know, beautiful, they often add a cherry on top. So that is how I, I look at relationships, you know, you should be whole first before you get into a relationship because most of us get into a relationship with when you're expecting the person to be everything for you, they're your life, and then you stop seeing your friends, and then you stop this and that. You even stop going to work because he asks you to, and he wants you to change, or he doesn't like your hair color. See? So he's everything for you, everything for you. He decides, or she, or, okay? It happens both ways, right? But then when he goes out of your life, then your world just tumbles down because you, you're lost, actually, in the middle of, you know, of nowhere, You know, because your world, he was your world. How about, I have a suggestion. How about you change that? Why don't you become the cake and the person you're dating or the person you're with is the cherry on top? You're already whole. So if the cherry goes out, what happens? You will, the the cake is still standing, you know? So that's why I feel in relationships, it's very important to be whole first and don't expect the other person, you know? To, to do everything for you, to don't expect the other person to come and fulfill you. They will not. Let them be just the cherry on top, the blessing on top, you know, the, 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 you know, the icing on top, but not the whole thing. Because when they leave, 
when your world tumbles down and it should not be like that it should be the opposite be the cake and let the person that you're dating or whoever it is in your life be the cherry on top if they decide to get out of your life then well and good you're still whole there was life before you just like rosemary said there was life before them and there should be and must be life after them after doing anything with their hands please try find something even if it's kidogo because god mm-hmm. says he will bless kamani kuza mboka yes. uza god said he will bless the work of our hands yes usika mm-hmm. tunde right you know usika tunde because the moment that man leaves you will mm-hmm. be like wow and yeah. that's what all the core shock eh unaangalia na si lazima aende by the way anaweza pata accident anaweza anaweza kufa anything can happen to him right. no no what you need to stand with your family Yes. Mm-hmm. So for the women out there when you are mapitia mateso and men to hold on fight fight to see tomorrow. Mm-hmm. God atako grace to na glory right. in. I tell people what I've been through and they're like wow. Really? I'm telling you earlier you yeah? are so pretty. Mm-hmm. If you told people you've gone through lakini right. hata nikwambie God will give you a face to cover all your troubles. Amen. Eh? Amen. Actually does it was really jionesha kwa mm-hmm. usali. Mm-hmm. Unaona? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I thank God. Amen. I thank God. Mm. Thank you so much Lynn for for inviting me. Karibu. Nashukuru <laughs> sana. Tuko iishi, tuko live for forever. Uh you you yeah. really lifting people. You see like this story really need to lift somebody up. Yeah. Even if it is just one one soul that right. will be lifted. I will I will thank God. Amen. Mm. If it is many I will thank God. Yeah. And for this platform for bringing it unto us mm. we are able to share. God right. bless you Amen. so much. Amina, thank Amina. you so much. And I have <laughs> yes. and, and I have a gift for you. Amen. I yeah. Do. yeah. Yes. Thank you. Mm. Rose, let me ask you what inspires you to keep going? Ah. Uh, first of all let me say God. God has been there for me. Like God always whispers to me and tells me my daughter you can do it. you beautiful you have made you beautifully and wonderfully made i have my lovely babies oh mm-hmm. right those guys when i look at them every day i want to fight mm-hmm. by the way when you get to, into my youtube channel you'll find you realize i say hi guys this is rose williams mama bear i call myself mama bear amen in fact even this t-shirt behind here i'll yes. show you yeah. it's written mama bear and there's a very big bear here i feel i am a bear right you know i am ready to fight right mimi hakuna kitu naogopa i only fear god mm. i will fight eh i have mm. done so many things i have tried the uh, cryptocurrency i've tried other things called the uh, <laughs> gif all things in this life right. i have lost money i am fighting yes you're an entrepreneur and we can feel that spirit you know we can feel the urge that you have inside of you we can feel you came out of this situation as a warrior that's a word you are a, it's written all over your face you can imagine how far you've come from tears to where you are today to the woman that you are today to the warrior that you are today to the mother t- that you are to, today to the, you know to the you know i mean it's just incredible how the story you're telling today has made you stronger and the person that you are today and i believe that you're going far and you're going places and you're on the way so keep going keep fighting and i'm telling you your story of course has really impacted so many people because i am reacting to it too and i'm like wow i need people on my platform to hear your story if they haven't already and you know make sure guys I will leave the full link to um to the video in the description below and make sure you go watch it and there is a part to actually where you know there is the feedback to after Tuko what happened to her after that um all the love she received so make sure you go back and watch that one too I am not about to give up for your no, baby yes not. for my baby mm. for my baby yeah and because I've seen my mom fight well my mom was not not left like that but my dad passed on Mm-hmm. And she stood tulikuwa waine and you were left like no really you were this small <laughs> by the time that was dying okay and she has fought i took that 
mm-hmm. because I live on a live one on one. The way I saw my mom fight. Yes. I'm fighting. You are fighting. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not so, about to give up. I'm so proud of you. I'm really proud of you. Have you forgiven him? Oh, yes. He mm. knows. God is my witness. Right. If I had not forgiven him, I would never receive his call. No. And he calls, by the way. He'll call to ask about his children. Mm. And after talking with the children, he'll still ask me, and how are you? Mm. And I say, I am good. And he's still with that woman. With that other woman. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Yes. I know uh, what I love about your story, because you even told me before you came, mm. you don't want this to be a pity party. Yes. I am not asking for any pity party. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I am ready to fight. Yeah, yeah, we can tell you've moved on. You know, we can tell that you have moved on. And that is, you've won the battle. You have really, really, really won a series of battles. And I think you're going to win the war because you're heading there and you're going to make it in life. And you will meet somebody who... I mean, who goes hand in hand with your values, you know, um, with everything that you look for in a man. Now, I think today, you know exactly what you want and you will not settle for less. And yeah, of course, we can just see um, the way you're fighting and you will keep fighting. You have fought and you're still fighting. And we can just see from, you know, the way you're telling the story. So, girl, wow, love it. And that is why I will not even ask for handouts. I uh-huh. want to work. I want right. to work and and earn my mm. money. Yes. And the little that I have been getting so far, I know. I I thank God because I know today I have little too. Tomorrow I have. I will right. have more. Mm. And uh, the little I have, I also do some charity work. Yeah. I live in Riru. Those three children in Rueru. Oh. I'll show you videos that we've been cooking, eh? For them. Right. For them, na tunaenda na tunaketi chini na street people tunakula from the same place with those children. Wow. And they'll tell me, eh, hey, madam, oh, hey, aji, aji, <laughs> And let me tell you, I take yes, those blessings and I run. Amen. I love that. Mm. I love that. Huh? Oh, I want to wow. use this platform. Uh, and this is not... Oh, you know what, Rose? Here is the thing. When I come home, I will join you. When I come home, we will cook together and feed those children and just, you know... I will. I just let me know if you would like me to come and join you because, you know, when you give back to the society, you know, when God blesses you, bless other people, right? And I feel after everything you've undergone, you still have the heart to give to other people and to extend the blessings to other people. I have so much respect for you right now and it's fantastic, really. I will join you for sure something you even asked me to do but I want to promote your branding oh. because I know my audience those are what you said you don't want any handouts mm-hmm. but then I know some of our audience they would want you to do something for them yes. so please tell us uh, briefly about your business mm-hmm. and where people can find you okay. mm-hmm. yes I do branding like I say yeah I do t-shirts hoodies cups mugs water bottles yeah. name it yeah. mm-hmm. everything branded yeah. Uh, my Safaricom number is zero seven two one two five one zero one six. Okay. If you don't find me with that one, you can find me with Airtel zero seven three five uh one six three seven one one. On YouTube, I am Rose Williams Kenya. I call myself Mama Bear, like I say. <laughs> uh, and Williams is your dad. R- Williams. Williams <sighs> is my daddy. In heaven, yes. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, thank you so much, guys. I love you so much. Thank you, Tuko. Yeah. Thank you, our camera person. God bless you so much. I oh. love you guys. Support me on YouTube. They will. <laughs> Don't joke with this one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> they, my people, they will support you. Huh? Yeah, guys. If you're from Tuko, make sure you subscribe as well. Let me know you're coming from Tuko. You know, just subscribe, just support us, and yeah, so we can bring more content from. From Tuko, because I think it's a very interesting perspective from the viewer's perspective when we watch this video. So, 
I'm so happy that, you know, everything is turning out well. And yeah, you know, continue supporting Rose because she needs it. Um, and she's a wonderful person. She's so encouraging. She's inspirational. Name it. Yes. And uh, Rose, uh, Majina kwa simu italeta Rose nani? Rosemary Wanyiri. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, what would be your parting shot to our audience? My parting shot. Uh, stay strong. Love yourself. Right. Before trying to look for love from a, in another person, love mm. yourself. There's no way somebody will love you if you... No, you cannot pour from an empty cup. That's for sure. You need to fill the cup first with you know, self-love, self-care, respect, self-respect, um, you know, just before you try and love somebody else, love you, yourself first and show people how you want to be loved. So that helps you not to settle for less. So yeah, I agree with you, Rose. You cannot pour from an empty cup. Fill it up, fill it up, and then, you know, when it's outpouring, then you can give some not love yourself mm. love yourself right and forgive yourself for the things that you made yourself mm. go through yeah trust again right. rise again you can do it you can yeah. do it yes. wow amazing huh? trust again yes trust again and that's a very important thing that she just said forgive yourself let me tell you it's okay to make mistakes but it's not okay to repeat the same mistake forgive yourself for allowing people to treat you in a certain way Forgive yourself for allowing people to disrespect you, but do not, do not repeat the same mistake. Do not allow people to disrespect you again. And so, yeah, forgive yourself, but do not, you know, go back and make the same mistake over again. Okay, so I agree with you. Forgive yourself. Rise again, you can do it. Right. I really enjoyed this episode of Tuko Talks because I want to say here, you are brave, right. and so many things have happened to you, and I saw you are still processing mm. some of those things. But the fact that you've decided, hey, I don't live there anymore, I want to rise up, mm. I want to take care of my kids, and I want to stand still again. So I must commend you for that, and also right. for being so brave Thank and you. sharing your story. Yeah. yeah, and as Rose said, she's not here to bash anyone, no. and I know Marta's love are co complicated, mm -hmm. but I think it's important for us to be honest with people we love, because you might end up causing so much pain in someone who once loved you that they won't even see it coming. Right. So, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this episode. My take home and what I would want my audience to do is support support this woman, guys. Mm -hmm. Anything branding, Rose is your plug, yes. and again, we will attach her contacts right here. Remember <laughs> to support her too on her YouTube YouTube channel. Yes. Personally, I have subscribed, subscribe to and see if that's content that you love. And as always, do not forget to say to God sent you. Right. To share your story with me, my email is pinned on that comment section. Till next time, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Lynn Gogi. Oh my goodness. Yes, guys. Thank you so much. Um, This was something. This was a fantastic um, um, interview. And Lean, you're doing a great job. I discovered Lean just a few weeks ago because I'm new on YouTube. So guys, make sure you subscribe, support me, you know. And um, I'm so happy to have come across Rose Williams through the Mwakazi family. And if you don't know Rose Williams, make sure you go and subscribe to her channel. You will have a link to this video as well as Rose Williams' video if you want to go back and, uh, you know, and support her as well and subscribe to her channel. So thank you so much, guys. And remember, love yourself, respect yourself, you know, be the person that you want future generations to look up to. And yeah, and everything else will just fall in place. And remember, you are the cake and not the cherry, okay? You need to be whole. Uh, dis I mean, despite everything. So you can just overcome any storm that comes your way. As for you, Rose Williams, nice to meet you. And honestly, I am so proud of you of how far you've come and you're going far. Okay. So thank you so much guys for watching. And until next time, 